Okay. It's raining, thunderstorm again. How about that? Here at the Saddlebrook Mall. All right, approaching the Royal Hibachi Buffet. I'm not gonna do the Walk of Fame. Commodore Jeff Zambello. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna enter the building, but uh, I hope there's good seafood. I'm sure it'll, it will be great seafood here at the Royal Hibachi Grill. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Uh, simply because every time it rains, um, I uh, become more uh, in the mood for seafood. Maybe it's the water. Okay, I'm entering right now. There we go. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. And they got the door open, and that's it. And now I'm going to enter. Okay, James P. Madonna, I'm departing the men's room. There's your uh, samurai warrior, the front door to the men's room. How lovely. Royal Hibachi Buffet. And there's the sign that says men's room. Looks like there's a party going on here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this party going on here. Im unbelievable, huh? How about that? It's a party going on. Let's see what we got here. See the party? Look at that party. Look at that party. Look at that party. Oh, yeah, crawdads. Dumplings. Uh, baby bok choy. Ah, uh, duck. All right. Duck is good. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I, uh, I don't know if that's the flounder or if it's cod's scrod cod, but all right, you know what? I think I'm gonna, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. Check out the old, uh, all right, we got there. There we go. Sushi's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I guess it's the flounder. It looks like the flounder because it has the same breading. Royal hibachi. There you go. All right. And then, as a surf and turf, I'm going to bypass the beef. Well, I can always come back for the uh, fruit of the mar over here. And I'm going to go. I'm going straight for the duck, the succulent duck. As I see some succulent pieces here, I think. Succulent duck. Playing Michael Jackson in the background, Commodore. Yes, I'm going. All right, a little surf and turf there, right? A little surf and turf. Okay, what do we got? Ah, oh, the Arabic rice is here. How about that? The Arabic rice. Bless their hearts. The Arabic rice. Uh, well, uh, you know what? Oh, look at that piece of meat. Look at that piece of land. Sacrificial lamb. Of course, there's a lot of human sacrificial lamb. I would like to, I would like to um, dispatch. Oh yeah, but I like to dispatch. Commodore Jeff Zambello knows that, right, Commodore? All right. Here's the old squish squash with uh, grilled broccoli, French toast. It's like a Sunday brunch buffet. Brunch toast. See what we got here. Oh, look what's back here. Coconut battered shrimp 
Coconut battered shrimp, delicious. It is. It's great. I'm not talking to myself. I'm just video. I'm taking I, a I, video. I, 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 yeah, then, 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 then you get you have the what guys in the white coat dropping a butterfly net on me. No, they're good. Try it. Co coconut battered shrimp. Coconut battered. And then about three three p.m. I think the calamari comes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, around, yeah, about yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, I got no more room. What am I gonna do? I got no more. I do have to get lemons, like I always do. Hey, look at these hot dogs. Eh, how about that? Here's the ice cream. Ice cream. See how many, uh, if any fatty arbuckles uh, uh, make the make the ice cream get soft. You know? Okay, here we have a coconut battered butterfly shrimp Arabic rice with lamb, chickpeas, slivered almonds, and uh, spices. Succulent duck, roast duck, right? The duck that's out of luck, all right? And uh, beautiful, fresh, flounder filet, very thick. Now let me go get, let me go get my lemons. But first I need my traditional yellow lemon bowl. Well, actually it's a soup bowl, but you know. It's yellow, so I call it my lemon bowl. Look at it. The place is cranking, man. There you go. Oh, bless their hearts. Lemon lime again. Oh, yes, lemon lime. Lemon lime, Commodore. I shall combine the the two for my uh, for my bever for my beverage for my drink, right? And then I shall take, hold on, hold on. And then I shall take extra lemons for the flounder. Uh, the wheels are always turning with old James P. Madonna. I want to thank the people at La Fortaleza Fine Mexican Food in Midland Avenue, Garfield, New Jersey, for providing me with a, a place to go on my birthday that just passed, the August 1st. Okay. We're in the dog days of summer. It's still humid out. Even though it's been raining every day, thunderstorms mean nothing to this stinking northeastern United States because it, the humidity just does not want to leave. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, fatty Arbuckle. Ooh, Arbuckle's back. Ice cream. There he is. Commodore Jeff Zambella. Old Arbuckle. Well, a different one. A different uh, buckle, fatty uh, buckle. Look at they're leaving the the door the door of the freezer open. Look what they're doing. I never fails with the uh, these uh, buckles. Look at this guy. He's gonna soften up my hot ice cream. He's gonna soften it up. Son of a bitch. He's gonna soften up my hot ice cream. Look at this. The diddler. The diddler is softening up my hot ice cream for later. The old, oh my, unbelievable, unbelievable. It's Chris Christie, you know? Anyway, let me eat. And just as I predicted, both, I, both doors to the ice cream freezer were wide open. Thanks to that gentleman right over there. Ah, uh, boy, you gotta love him. They, I see a pattern, you know what I mean? There's definitely a pattern, Commodore Jeff Zambello. Commodore Jeff Zambello, there's definitely a pattern. Both doors are wide open. Oh yeah, take your time, take your time. Just scoop it real slow, buddy. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Alrighty, it's round two uh, of the beginning of August uh, lunch buffet excursion here I'm gonna get some uh, of my much loved uh, white tuna sashimi right white tuna sashimi right 
I'll get a few of these, I guess, either yellowfin or bluefin tuna sashimis. You know, without, without using the word standard. That yeah, should be enough. <clears throat> what do we have here? Octopus, a little too chewy for me. Octopus sashimi, uh, calamari, sashimi. Eh, now, still a little chewy. Okay, here we have um, some kimchi, some seaweed salad, probably wakame. Highly nutritious, right? All right, I'll take I'll take a little kimchi. Very high nutritional density cabbage, especially pickled cabbage. And then um, on the side, a little of this wakame salad with sesame flavoring. Right? There you go, colorful. All right, and. Uh, very nutritious and uh, loaded with protein and omega-3s. All right, get a little of this. With a dipping sauce, a little wasabi. A little pickled ginger, Commodore Jeff Zambella, pickled ginger. You know what that reminds you of? All right. Then I'll get the soy sauce, and then I'll have to figure out how to carry this all. Oh dear, okay. You have your own music. Sounds like mariachi, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Better than listening to Michael Jackson or that. Yeah. You know? I went to La Fortaleza, you know, in Garfield. This week, a uh, restaurant called La Fortaleza. Where? Uh, Midland Avenue, Garfield. Garfield in Garfield? Yeah. yeah. It's good. What about that? Oh, yeah. I had enchilada sweet, suiza with tomatillo sauce and then uh, frozen margaritas. Yeah, very good, very good place. It gets packed on a weekend though, you, you know, no parking, right? Right. Oh man. Woo. Oh gee, here we go. We gotta listen to um, what's her name? Whitney Houston. There you go. All right, I'll listen to the, the gentleman's uh, mariachi music. Here we go. Oh, what do we got here? We got a little Mongolian barbecue action. There you go. Look at all that shrimp. Look at all that shrimp. Doesn't that smell wonderful? I'm going in barbecue. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. And that's that steam, that steam loaded with aromatic delight. Coming from the Mongolian barbecue here. Royal Hibachi Buffet. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at those big shrimp. Peppers, the carrots, the yong yong. 
It comes to sauce. It comes to sauce. There you go. The master at Mongolian barbecue here at Royal Hibachi Grill. I guarantee 246 West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Look at that. There you go. Good thing I, I came out at the right time from the men's room. Of course, some some low life forgot to flush the toilet, and I ha I had to do it. There you go. Look at that action. Look at that action. Yeah, here comes more chicken. Spicy. Look at that beautiful sauce. There you go. There you go. How long it take? I come back after five minutes or five minutes? Okay, thank you. Yeah, chicken breast cooks very fast. Yeah, old time. Chicken breast cooks fast. People don't realize that. Like I cook a fish. There you go. Now he's cutting it up. Look at that. Much cheaper than going to a hibachi steakhouse, the Japanese place. This is it's very reasonable. And you're getting you're getting the same quality. Look at that. There you go. Hibachi action. Oh, there goes one. Look at the shrimp. Look at the beautiful shrimp. The plate is finished. Alright. Then it goes to one customer. And he's gonna combine you have to cut up the chicken breast. You're gonna combine hey, hey. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, here comes another one. Here comes another dish. Look at that beautiful food. It's only Oh yeah, this is aromatherapy at its best. Aromatherapy. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh. And eventually, the chicken breast cooks very fast. Eventually he's gonna cut that up. Like he did over, he did over there. Now this is the this is this is the best this is the best aromatherapy, Commodore Jeff Zambello. This is the best aromatherapy. And there he goes. He cuts up more chicken breast. Look at that. He's the expert. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. He's here. He's better than Benny Hanna and much cheaper too. Benny Hanna of Tokyo. This is better. Very reasonable here. Good quality food. Look at that. He's cutting it up. Hey, da, 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 da. Okay, that's enough. Goodbye. All right. Where was I? Ice cream. Uh, there's a calamari, but I don't see any tentacles. I only see the rings. I don't know if I'm in the mood. I'm not. I don't know if I'm in the mood for the rings. I honestly. Oh, it's a tough call. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get, uh, uh I don't know. Da, 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 da. Oops, got a party going on back there. I hope they got the lights on. No, they don't have the lights on. How about that? Yeah. Take a, I'll just take a little bit because I'm not that hungry. Not anymore, I'm not that hungry. A little marinara sauce. Planey's, Planey's damn love songs are getting on my nerves. I wish they played something happy. Alright. After this, then I'll, then I'll get the ice cream. 
calamari marinara. Mm -hmm. There you go, there you go. Leaving the door open so my ice cream gets soft. No wonder the ice cream gets soft. Oh, this is still broken? Oh, here we go. They fixed it. Okay. Huh. Oh, no. It's still broken. What am I doing? How am I supposed to get the other side open? So, second week and it's broken. So now I can only get... Unless... Unless... You're brilliant and you can figure it out. Uh, somebody broke the handle on the other side of the door. It's Unless there's a secret way of getting to the other side. Unless you, you know of a secret way. He had a tab that's like uh, last week it, was, it, was un, it wasn't there. Probably some Chris Christie, you know, 500 pound kid, you know, snapped it off. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame because you, then you can only get those flavors. Probably soft anyway with the way the kids leave the door open, you know. Yeah, they leave the door open. To, they make it. Nah, it's a shame, you know. But usually the little chubby kids do that, you know. They 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 try to dive in there, you know. Oh, gonna need security. Gonna have to hire security for the ice cream. Yeah, it's a shame. They fixed one problem. That works great. Yeah, look. I mean, it's supposed to be like a tab, right? To get... Oh, man. Isn't that something? Oh, I gotta do it the... Alright. The old finger, finger in a hole trick. Gotcha. Alright, now I know. I know the secret now. Uh, at least they... They rotate the flavors, you know, on both sides. All right. Let's get those lights. You got the beautiful LED lights flashing. There you go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It's like a carnival. <laughs> Commodore Jeff Zambello, I give a shout out. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need both hands to handle this. So, sorry, but now I know. Since the the, the diddlers, the fatty arbuckles broke broke the handle, I have to stick my finger in a hole to slide this open in order to get to the other flavors. All right, got it. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna have chocolate ice cream. Thank God it was hard. From the ice cream station, it wasn't that bad. I brought it to management's attention about the, um, the handle being broken. I'm surprised that nobody mentioned it. None of these, none of these jabronis, uh, no, momos, whatever you want to call them, mentioned it to management that the ice cream station handle was broken on the right side. There you go. Dark chocolate is going to be what I'm having to des for dessert. I don't do this often. Maybe once a week. I 